OK, so we're going to do some more examples of working backwards, uh, given the probabilities, finding the values of z using the tables. So let's interpret what these mean. So number one, the probability of z being greater than a is 0.45. So if I draw a diagram, here's my normal distribution. Here's 1. Oh, sorry, here's 0. Sorry, the mean is 0. Um, so somewhere along this axis, there is a value of a. So the probability to the right is 0.45. So that would mean, so we're working to the right now, so that would mean that A is here, so that that is 0.45. Now, from the tables, I can only look up probabilities to the left. So you need to recognise, right, if that's 0.45, then this has to be 0.55. So the value of A is actually 0.45 when I look up 0 0.55, which is 0.1257. OK, so you always need to look at it that way around. Right, let's try uh, number two. So there's zero. So somewhere is B, so the property to the right is 0 0.14. So B would have to be here for that to be 0.14. So to the left, we would have to have 0.86. So I need to look up 0.86 in here. 0.86, so 1.0803. OK, so that's the value I need. OK, number three. The problem is that being greater than C is 0.83. Right, there's 0. Now, the probability to the right is 0 0.83, so that would mean that C would have to be here in order for that to be 0 0.83. OK? Now, I can't, I can't look that up directly. Um, there's no use me looking up that to so 0.17, because the tables only go down to 0 0.5. So... Think about the mirror image. I know mine's not a perfect mirror image, but it'll do. So the value I'm considering in the mirror image is here, in order for that to be 0 0.83. So if I look up 0 0.83, uh, which is 0 0.9542, if that's 0 0.9542, then C must be the mirror image so negative 0.9542. Right, let's try number four. Right, there's zero. So the property to the right is 0.999. So D would have to be here for this to be 0.999. OK, so it's exactly the same situation as we had before. We're going to have to look at the mirror image. So that this is 0 0.999. So if I look up 0 0.999, I get uh, 3.0902. I'm looking at the bottom half now. So 0 0.99 down the left hand side, go along 0 0.999. 0.999, so 3.0902. So if it's the mirror image, then D has to be negative 3.0902. OK, so that's how we can find A, B, C and D using our tables.